What is going on you guys? So today we are going to be doing some creative photography. Really anyone will be able to do this if they own a camera, even with an iPhone these days. So uh, let's jump into it. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, eight. So I've got six sparklers here. These are left over from a shoot I did a few weeks ago. And um, I'm thinking we're gonna use these again tonight, but with a little twist. I want to incorporate long exposure photography into this shoot as well. And that will allow us to create some really, really cool effects with these. There'll be light streaks all over the image, but as well, it might add some motion to the photo, which will make it a little bit better, a little bit more eye-catching, I guess. So if you guys didn't know, a long exposure photo is when you set your shutter speed to maybe around three seconds, kind of depends on what you want to shoot. But let's just say three seconds. So what that does is instead of the shutter going like a normal photo, it kind of goes like, kind of like that. Um, and what that does is it captures more light. And if there's light moving around in the image, it'll capture that motion as well. So uh, yeah, that's what a long exposure is. It doesn't get dark for a few more hours now. So that means we have some time to kill. I think I'm actually gonna go head over to Pinterest and kind of browse some photos of sparklers and long exposures just to get my creative juices flowing a little bit. If you guys didn't know, Pinterest is the place to go if you're feeling a little bit uncreative because there are literally thousands and thousands and thousands of awesome photos that people just post there for you guys to look at. So if you're feeling a little bit uncreative, Pinterest is definitely the place to go because it'll get your juices going like nothing else. Wow, there are some really awesome long exposure photos on Pinterest that have got me pretty inspired, to be honest. Remember, you must have a tripod because any movement you put on the camera when you're taking this long exposure, in your final photo, it'll show up as really blurry and you really do not want that because it'll just ruin the photo. So with that in mind, let's go outside and let's give these a try. Okay, so Ben and I are outside now and I know it's really dark, but we have our light out, so it should be okay. So for the first photo, I'm gonna walk down the center line of the road. I'm gonna kind of wave the sparkler behind me, just kind of really low. Hopefully we should capture the sparks kind of hitting the road and bouncing back off, and that would be a really cool effect. And then I'm gonna walk maybe, I don't know, maybe 20 meters. Then when I stop, I'm gonna kind of wave that sparkler up around me, just to kind of make a focus point in the photo. Ben and I actually timed how long the sparklers last, and they actually go for about 45 seconds. So I'm thinking the long exposure will be probably around 40 seconds, 45 seconds, if that's too bright for the camera, because that's open for a long time then we'll have to stick an ND filter on, which I have. Yeah, we'll just kind of try it as we go and we'll see what happens. You guys, that was awesome. I think that turned out way better than I thought it would. The sparkler looks so sick on the road, just kind of moving down that center line and then me picking it up and spinning it. Awesome shot, I think it worked out really well. So for the next photo, I'm actually gonna get Ben to make a pose in the middle of the road and then I'm gonna kind of run up with the sparkler and outline him. This actually looks really cool on Pinterest, so it should work out really well, but uh, again, I've never done this before, so let's uh, keep our fingers crossed. Okay, you guys, so I think that turned out actually way better than the first one. That looked so cool, the outline of Ben. The sparks coming off the sparklers are like falling down. It was really cool. Let's get on to the last one and then we can go inside and check these out. So for the last shot, I'm just gonna stand still and Ben's gonna come up and kind of walk around me with the sparkler facing the camera at all times. What that'll do is it'll create a spiral, a sparkler spiral going up around me. And uh, yeah, it should be cool. So let's get into this last one and then we can go back inside and check these out. So we're out of sparklers now and uh, that last shot turned out pretty good. It was decent. It kind of wasn't really as smooth as I was hoping it to be. This means we can go back inside and I'll catch back up with you guys on the computer. That was dope. I've never done sparkler long exposure photography before and I can tell you right now, I will definitely be doing that again. So for the first photo, I just walked down the middle of the road whilst holding the sparkler as low as possible. I was hoping the sparks coming off the sparkler would actually kind of bounce off the road and create a really cool kind of effect with the light. That didn't actually end up happening, but that's okay because I think the photo still turned out really awesome and I'm really happy about it. So for the second photo, I just got Ben to stand still and strike a pose. He kind of did like a, I don't know what this is, but that's what he did. 
and I just outlined them with the sparkler and it actually turned out really good. I actually really like this photo because there's actually sparks falling down and actually hitting the road at the bottom and they actually stay lit after they hit the ground so it creates kind of this really cool light streak effect on the road. The only thing I would change about this shot is I would ask Ben to kind of stand a little bit more still. That's only because it kind of turned out a little bit blurry on his body but uh, we actually ran out of sparklers so we couldn't actually even do this again. So moving on to the final photo, this shot I actually stood still whilst Ben kind of walked around me with the sparkler creating this almost spiral like effect. It almost looks like I'm trapped kind of inside some sort of electrical fiery cage. <laughs> I don't know, it just it looks really cool I think. I know I actually said in the video that it kind of just turned out okay but after throwing an edit on it in Lightroom, this is probably actually my favorite photo of the night. It kind of looks like I have some sort of magical powers and like I have like an electrical force field around me. I don't know, that's just kind of how I interpreted it but I think it looks actually really dope. Anyways, these are all the photos that we got tonight and I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you can support me by going to hit the subscribe button and also liking this video. And if you guys want to see more of my photos, I post lots of them onto my Instagram. It should pop up somewhere right here. Thank you guys for watching. and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.